Hello guys, it's your boy back with another video and today we have a little bit of a chore list to do with pertaining cars. So this car is getting a stock exhaust put back on today. Still rolling with that shitty tire by the way. We're going to put some tint on another car and then, but before we do that, we're going to the junkyard to get some parts for my Mazda here because I bought the parts, then they ended up re basically giving me a refund saying that they didn't have the parts so i don't have the patience to deal with me ordering more parts i'm gonna just go to the junkyard and just get them and slap them on the car and just get the car running because like at this point it's it's been two weeks and i want to drive it For the, the Golf R has made it to the VW Works. This is the guy that uh, took care of me when it came to doing the pre person inspection of the vehicle, and he does really good work. Uh, saved me from thousand dollars of repairs basically by getting this car. If you guys want to know where they're at, I'll leave their address in the corner here. But for you guys that are just listening, it's 1313 Green Four Circuit, warehouse number 203. So 213 Green Forest Circle, number 203, Winter Garden, Florida, 34787. If you guys want anything to do with anything with European cars, as you guys see, you know, typical, typical. You know, he's never out of business. He's doing European cars. But let's go inside and give him the keys. All right, now we're under the beast again. I don't know how this tire is better than that one. Oh shoot, I didn't even notice this. This tire is ready to go. This tire is already sent to chat. You should have seen it because uh, the tire actually wrapped around this whole thing over here. And I had to cut it out. All right, so new tires are gonna get installed soon. These are 225s by 40. What the hell? All right, there's no leaks in here, right? Other than the uh, oil that was leaking before, you remember that uh, oil we were talking about before? Yeah, it's still. Yeah. I do the oil changes every uh, 3,000 miles, so. And next time you change it, they sell that drain plug. I, yeah, I did it, so I got to redo it. Well, I need a new one. Yeah, I changed that drain plug. They sell it. It's like three bucks. Yeah. This drain plug with the washer. Yeah. Okay, I'll do yeah, that. Next then. time you change the oil, take this one, throw it out, and put a new one on. Okay, it's like three bucks. I'll order it then. And, and stop that leak. Okay. And this is what's missing here. So you got a chunk missing. Yeah, like, you know, that's. You don't have the chunk. <laughs> oh, the chunk is in the car. Oh, okay. Oh, I should have told you that before you jacked the car up. <laughs> that would have been very helpful. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, but everything else seems great. <laughs> I mean, especially for a northeast car. You want me to unlock the other side? Or you got it? All right, everything else seems great. Yeah, so my drive shaft this year, I was trying to get the, um, I was trying to do it myself one day and it was like grinding and I did not want to hit that. My blade is way too big. So I was like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, so that's why I sent it to him to get it done. I'm surprised it's not hot, even though I've driven the car. This part, it would never be hot. <laughs> So I could touch it all day. Right there, huh? Is that? What is that? That looks like. Does this car has like a variable, uh, variable valve thing? I don't know. That's what it looks like. Other than that, because that's a wire. Other than that, uh, we're good to go. So I want to see what it sounds like when it's when it's finally fixed. And before people get on me about this surface rust, I was very aware about the surface rust on the axle and the, uh, what is that called again? Sorry, I've been speaking Spanish a little bit. Been learning, been getting better. But the subframe, so you got all this surface rust on the sway bars and all this other stuff. All that stuff can be re, like replaced if they ever decide to snap. But the frame itself doesn't have any rust which I'm honestly surprised. This car came from New Hampshire. 
I bought it in the Northeast in a Rust Belt. So for a Rust Belt car, this is actually not that bad. I mean, I plan on going back up north anyway. So uh, yeah, so let's see how I'm looking at the front. The front got a little bit of work. There's no grease, there's no nothing, despite me doing drift, drift action in the last video. All right. We're good to go, but yeah, I need to get a new oil plug. I do my own oil changes. That is unplugged. I don't even know what the hell that goes to. I've never unplugged that, so I don't know. So we were just chilling here while they finished the car, and I feel it coming out here. So it looks like they did the, did the job. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't want them to get mad at me, but yeah, it, it looks like they, they got that clamp on there. He was just revving it when he was on the inside. Yeah, that thing looks nice. I don't want to cause them insurance pain. Look at it coming out all quiet now. My neighbors are going to be more happy now. Look at that. Wow. I can't even hear the car, like, can't even hear the engine anymore. <laughs> this is real nice. Usually it was loud. Now I can finally hear if there's something wrong with the timing butt or anything. But there isn't, but there isn't so we're good. All right, let's start her up. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh my God, it's so much smoother now. It is so much smoother now. Before it would like do, it would rumble really bad. It's so much quieter now. Holy smokes. It feels so much better. This was worth it. This was worth it. All right, so now we're at Window Tent Pro over here in Ocoee, Florida, next to the Boost Mobile. They sell Spectrum here. If you guys want to know, it's an Ocoee here. And we're about to go ahead and drop the Mazda Speed 3 off. Oh, wait, you guys don't know about my Mazda Speed 3, do you? I don't know. Okay, so that's the before. And we're going to get the after afterwards. I mean, there's not much to see. So Mazda Speed 3, what? No 10. We're going to see their work afterwards. All right, so now it's a couple of hours later. And they did a damn good job. Holy frick. Look at that. You can't see nothing back there. For Great for some extracurricular activities. All right. Look at that. All right, wish my tent was this dark. All right, but they did a pretty good job. I mean, they need to put way more tape than that. But other than that, and they did the windshield too. So that's pretty That's pretty dope. Really nice car. All right, have you guys ever seen a wild Porsche? This is what it looks like in the wild. <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. They, they put big wheels on everything over here, boy. This is the first time I've ever seen somebody put big wheels on a Cayenne. <laughs> when they be like first owner and then the seventh owner, this is this is what they mean by the seventh owner. <laughs> Alright, so all jokes aside, it was actually pretty nice for a high riser or a dunk. I don't really know the proper term for that vehicle. But there's only one thing. If I had the chance to talk to the person that owns that view, if it's a dude, what do you use to carry your balls? Or if it's a chick, what do you do to carry your coochie? Because you have the nerve to drive that shit like it's a sports car. That motherfucker was moving, bro. When I tell you bro was moving, like dude was going so fast. I'm over here trying to speed up to him in this car and I'm like, dang, I don't even, I'm trying not to break the speed limit. He's still going. The only reason I caught him to is because of red light because he would have been gone. He drove that Porsche Cayenne like it was a Porsche 911. He didn't care. He didn't even care that big at the center of gravity of a 18 wheeler with bricks on the top of it. He just did not care. Or she, you know, there's a lot of chicks too, so I don't want to get, or they, you know, there's those the they things now, you know, that, I don't even know what that is, but that, <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that whoever drives that vehicle, they got some real balls on them. I tell you what. All right, one last look. Uh, we got a little strip at the top, you know, <laughs> so dark, you can see me, that's how black it is, it's blacker than me, anyways, got the whole 
back lid with oh i just noticed that about the mazda mm -hmm. it looks like a looks like uh like the mazda logo yeah yeah that's what i wanted to say i almost said an m but it doesn't look like an m but yeah it looks pretty darn good man i give them props they did a really good job for the especially for the price because i paid like three hundred dollars for mines and to do this whole window is to do all the windows and windshield but it only cost me two so highly recommend all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed that little video there you know me doing my little errands uh i forgot to do a uh outro for the video so let me know what you guys think about the tent other than that i hope you guys enjoyed see you guys in another video